It's the first time a foreign journalist has been detained on accusations of spying in Russia since the collapse of the Soviet Union. The case of American journalist Evan Gershkovich has drawn widespread condemnation. Reporters Without Borders ranked Russia 155 out of 180 countries in its Press Freedom Index. It says Gershkovich's arrest sets a worrying precedent. It has a chilling effect on foreign journalists, especially Western journalists, who try to uh, inform uh, international community, international uh, public opinion about the war and about what's going on in Russia. Before the start of the war in Ukraine, journalism in Russia was already tightly controlled by the Kremlin. The work of independent journalists is now near impossible. Since Russian tanks rolled into Ukraine over a year ago, many outlets have shut down. The closure is triggered by the passing of a law which criminalized calling the conflict a war as opposed to the Kremlin-approved term special military operation. The clampdown forced independent media outlets like Novaya Gazeta, which is led by Nobel Peace Prize winner Dmitry Moratov, to cease publication. Andrei Soldatov, a Russian investigative journalist who lives in exile in London, says the situation back home has reached a new low. I think it is a turning point because for many years Putin cared a lot about his public image. He loved talking with foreign journalists. Now it's all changing. Now he's a war criminal wanted by the hack. And it seems that now he decided just to change all the rules. Since the start of the war in Ukraine, an estimated 1,000 journalists have fled Russia.